Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. President Nawakwe, you in uh, Uka, Foundation, Uka, Uka uh, movement are being accused of perpetuating uh, tribalism and that you are bent on splitting this country with the words you are using and you've been arrested, some of your colleagues have been arrested on, on that fact. Uh, how true is that and how, what do you say to that? Now, uh, Mwishiva, this is pointing at you. Mm -hmm. the, the father of tribalism. Why, why did you say that? Uh, people forget that I was his vice president. Mm -hmm. That's when I saw the ugly head of tribalism rear itself. Mm -hmm. Because that Sakuiba can't be the apparent leader of UPND. That uh, the largest grouping of members of the house were from southern province at the time. And therefore, since uh, late Anderson Mazoka had passed on, he needed to be succeeded by someone from southern province. Ever still introduced tribalism. And again, you go back to the record, just to Google, where President Hakainde says, you don't want me to be president just because I'm Tonga. You understand that? So, and then uh, when Rapule is arrested, uh, what are the party officials in southern province saying? Abashiri arrested. Munia was responding to a part official from southern province who was saying, Iwa Munia, we can suck southern province. Munia says, Naiwa we can suck mwesu, kuilamba. Mamona, both should have been picked up. Because now, we don't have tribes. Zambia has no tribes. Ngana tinji pushe muna mstudio mwalasa angati, wa msonda pa, limbiwa upo mwina mwanga. Limbiwa upo mtonga. Me, I was married to a tonga. So what is the tribe of my daughter? Eh? So you can have a chief in this province whose mother is Lamba Olenje. On Namwanga, because you are matrilineal. You are not patrilineal like the Namwangas who say that the line of inheritance is from the father. Mm -hmm. So to the extent that we have intermarriages, Musonda, Mwenda is available in this country. No Mbanga kwa ukupiana vata tava chisunka. Ngakuti so how can you say we have tribes? The people who are tribal this time is those of us who were born before independence. Because there is, there's been mixed marriages from every tribe. There's not one tribe which you can say, Awe, abalozi, abalozi, abena mwanga, abena mwanga. Mm -hmm. I am probably the only, the last generation of a, of a product of two namwangas. Because myself, I was married to a tongue. My late husband is humble from Monze. Mm -hmm. I don't know what my, my, my children, my, my boys are married from, from, one is married from a lady from Lambaland. One is married from a lady whose parents are from Luapula and Chinsali. Now tell me, which Zambia are we talking about? The people who use the tribal card, it's for their benefit. 
kambo bakali kwamba kuti UPND Yesu mwaibu kisha bakali kwamba kuti ichi Yesu ichi Yesu oh that's tonga sorry i speak very good talk they they were saying that UPND is ours i think you heard when we went to southern province people would say ichi Yesu there were people there's a lady from Kafue who stood up and said all of you vote for a Tonga because our president is Tonga. He never said a word, shut up, that can't be done under my name. You understand what, I, what I'm driving at? Mm. You ask me, why do you say that? Because he has never condemned those who have stood up to talk tribal on his behalf. He has never said, no, don't do it under my name. But he too has voiced the fact that other tribes didn't want him to be Tonga to be leader because he was Tonga. No, we don't want a Tonga president. We don't want an Amwanga president. We want a Zambian president. We want a Zambian born president. We want a president who will embrace every Zambian. Because the Zambia has changed. Zambia, even at independence, our forebearers, the Kaundas, they didn't talk tribal. Otherwise, when Hali Mwanga Nkumbula would not have been in the packet. The people who created Zambia were not a tribal. You had the Kapwepwes, you had the Nkumbulas, you had the, the Mwana Winners. All those people got together and said, what is good for us? And that's what we need to retrace ourselves who are bickering in the political arena to say, what is good for the future of our grandchildren? So uh, this uh, arresting of one person, leaving another one, is like your child going outside to insult elders. And then you start fighting with them outside. No. First, President Hagande should sort out the mess in his party. The bitterness, the ugliness in his party, where uh, officials are going out now in 2024 with the pangas in Mandevo. He should sort that out. Where his officials are going in the compounds to loot. He should sort that out. Because mm -hmm. he should clean the mess before he starts thinking that he can clean the mess outside. Otherwise, he's only being seen as being vindictive to those he's incarcerating when his own people, his own supporters are left scot-free in his party and he's eating with them at the table. There's this provincial chairman for Northwestern province, for UPND. He has been extremely abusive of our former president. And I thought that uh, at that level where a leader, because the provincial chairman is a very senior party member. He sits in the management committee of UPND. But he goes to have tea with the president, Hakainde. And this is a person who is undressing President Lungu in public. I would have say, thought that that kind of assault should have been nabbed just when he started. He should have even been expelled from UPND that He's messing up the party. He's messing the name of the president. But the president entertains that. And, and that's where we, we, we differ and say, no, truly he should say, you people, you can't do this on my behalf. Because they're doing it on his behalf. And if he's quiet, it means consent. So <laughs> this issue about uh, tribalism, the people are using it. They're using it for their own benefit. Okay. Um, the fight against corruption in the country, we'll move quickly so that we can probably give some time to people to call in. The, the issue of the fight against corruption, the UPND uh, championed corruption fight. They accuse the PF every day of being a corrupt party. And they said they will work to stamp out corruption because they were cleaner. It's been three years almost in power. Are we seeing uh, a corruption fight you thought would come? And are we... Are we, have we made progress in as far as the fight against corruption as a country? No, um, we haven't made progress. I think that uh, my greatest disappointment is that this government is even more corrupt than any other government that we have gone through. I have said that 
when they finally pack the bags, they will go in the history of Zambia the most corrupt leadership that we have ever had. Why did you say so much? I will elaborate. Mm. Six million acres. That's corruption. They have no time. They have no business meddling in traditional land. That's corruption. Lusaka has gone on fire because now they're pointing fingers at each other. The chief servant has taken anything. The people are left. You cannot go to a province and sell land. They've given out 134,000 hectares of land in Muchinga and the northern province to someone known as so-called explorer. He's just busy at, at Kanyerele buying gold there and apparently exploring. The fellow is just buying gold. Why would you do that? Why would you give Muflila slag dump called uh, Black Mountain? to Jubilee Metals without a bid. This government, you heard about uh, uh, Mopani. Mm -hmm. Before they could sell Mopani, they sectioned a portion of Mopani to a company called Jubilee Metals in South Africa. These people have not paid a single coin to the treasury. That's corruption because that's a people's asset. Our birth rights are being given really nearly to foreigners. Just last week, Jubilee Metals announced in London that uh, the government of Zambia has now given them another slag dump called the Ron Slag Dump. So, and then we had a story, we had a story that just when they came in, there was money called the Environmental Fund, almost $40 million, which had been sitting in the Ministry of Finance. What did they do? They took that money, and the, uh, uh, Minister Kawuswe instructed his officials to give that money to Aflife. Who is Aflife? Aflife is a company owned by the President, his friends, Muna Hantuva and Valentine Chital. So our money, which we borrowed from the World Bank, is sitting at a private fund manager, and there's no project which is being managed. So, and then you think about the transaction which they've done at KCM. Mm -hmm. They've given back KCM to Vedanta, a company which is broke. PF took that KCM back. By the way, Concola Deep Mine is one of the richest mines in the world. They've taken it and given it to this friend of theirs from India uh, under the name of Vedanta. No sooner had they given them back, because the president says, ah, I want the court process to end. He even interferes in the court process because it was in court. So it comes out and some of us say, ah, yeah, maybe he has intervened so that people can start working in, in, at Concola. But you know what he does? He gives to Vedanta. Up to today, it's not open. But what does Vedanta do? They take the same mine, go and sell shares in the London market or wherever and sell shares to the same company which has taken Mopani. You see that? Now, how stupid can you be? Because even ourselves, since we owned the mine at the time, we could have floated the shares. And the one billion which Vedant has, has bagged, that one billion could have come to us. This is where I say, how stupid can you be? This is outright stupidity. You take cash, now I'm going to take cash. i <laughs> I mean, uh, how, how useless can you be? Babula, mine, Concola Deep, Babu Sashabu Kuchipovachi Vedanta, Chashi Muluka Fe, Tachinetel and Shimwendarama, Chayaku Panex Do Chash, Tisha, one billion dollars, Chabwe, that no, Vedanta has sold 59% uh, of the shares in Concola Deep. I say to myself, Wushe, Wupuba, and Wukopo. 
this is nothing to do with Bupuba na Mbukopo. It's outright corruption. Ndabukopo, if you tuala and then Dibusheba Kabuswe is the correct my, uh, minister for mines. Because I don't even think that that's right. Mwabula slang dam, kiyo mufile mwapela ama Zambians. Mwapela tsende ni chichipe, mwapela ama South Africans. They are going to make 13 million, 13,000 tons of copper per annum. 13,000 tons of copper per annum from Mufrila alone. So in their new announcement, they are saying the business in Zambia is growing because we are targeting near surface assets. They don't have to dig and sink shafts. Ubupuba mwema ndi wakwa kristu, ubupuba mwema ndi wakwa leso, ubupuba mwabule nda lama kashi mwapelo msungu wa South Africa, pantu mwuneenu. Nga tuwalanda, vale tutumina ama call out ku police, at we must shut up. I mean, uh, I, I, I raised the issue with the fact that uh, uh, Muna Hantuba is a board member of Jubilee Metals. And Jubilee Metals has got a, a, a part of Mopani for free. I said, but this is corruption. I tell him, Wendy, I must answer to defamation. I left him to the from Zambia. For him, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, i that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. Uh, this is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.